The government says that the coronavirus outbreak is accelerating. So too is the response. Tonight, measures have been announced to shield one and a half million of the most vulnerable people with specific health concerns. In the coming days, they will be contacted and told, do not leave the house for 12 weeks from Monday, do not attend any gatherings of friends and family, and have deliveries of food or medicine left at the door to avoid contact. A new local support system will help organise deliveries. It comes as retailers and the government tried to calm panicking shoppers. There is more than enough food to go round and our food supply chain is able to expand production to cope with increased demand. In the last week, sales of some foods have increased significantly and manufacturers have produced around 50% more food than they usually would. There is a billion pounds more food in people's houses than there was three weeks ago, so we should uh, make sure we, uh, we eat some of it um, and be considerate and also think about other people right across your communities. That includes NHS staff, medics angered at stories of some of them being unable to buy food for their families. Frankly, we should all be ashamed that that has to happen. It's unacceptable. Uh, these are the very people that we will all need uh, to look after perhaps us or our loved ones in the weeks ahead. The good news is there may soon be more of them. NHS England has announced an unprecedented deal with private medical providers to bring in more staff and resources, including 8,000 beds, 10,000 nurses and 700 doctors. This is a significant move on behalf of the NHS and the private sector to put pretty much all available capacity of the private sector to the use of the NHS over the next few weeks. Many people will be wondering how much money the private sector will make out of this. This activity will be done at cost. No profit will be made from any organisation doing this work. There will be independent verification of that. But despite the extra resources, the Prime Minister has warned that the accelerating outbreak is likely to overwhelm the NHS unless people act together. And he also warned people not to visit elderly or vulnerable parents this Mother's Day, but instead to stay at home.